Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Google Trends for stocks. This will be a very brief video giving an overview. What I hope to do in the future is gather as much intraday trends so that we can analyze with intraday stock data. So here's some of the packages we're going to require. And within the G Trends package, we need to set a few parameters. For this function's arguments, we can search by keyword or keywords. We also have a geo argument if you want to be specific. The gprop argument should be one of these five. And for the time argument, we can specify any of these depending on how far you want to look back. Now let's go ahead and test this against Tesla. So here in the next block, we can also be more specific by passing in a category and you call that by using line 57. And if we take a look at the possible categories, you just need to pass in the ID. So if you want to focus on finance, there's a couple of IDs that we can pass in depending on what you're searching for. All right, so for Google Trends, I'm gonna pass in line 59 for the keywords. And for the time I'm gonna use now minus seven days. And what that returns is a list. So we have interest over time, interest by country, region, DMA by city, related topics and related queries. And here we have subset each of these data frames by running this next block. So we take a look at these. This one is for the country. We have interest over time, which is what we're gonna be using. The city and DMA are similar. They just get more specific. So here we have the following locations. And for DMA, we have the city and the state. For related queries, we do show a couple. And under a subject, we could rank these and we kind of get the direction of the related queries. But if we just focus on interest over time, we can go ahead and format that table and plot it against the stock. So this block takes care of that. We're gonna convert our interest over time to an XCS object. We're gonna pull in intraday data for Tesla. And if we plot the Google Trends against the stock, we get this technical indicator. Now I need more data to work with, so I would have to gather this data and collect it over time. Now it is possible to return all the data by changing the timing. So we're going to use today plus the previous five years. And again, we're just going to call in the data, which is weekly. In this case, we're going to format it and convert it into an XTS object and plot it against the stock. I was also trying to see if we can gather signals using weekly data where the trend changed by plus or minus 40% week over week. So we'll take a look at the stats as well. But for the stock, this is what the stock looks like against the trend. And if we take a look at the printout here, we have a few signals where the trend changed by less than negative 40%. These were the only two instances. And on the positive side, we have a little more. And for the table of stats, we can see that the annualized return are both positive, meaning that both of these cases were buying opportunities. But like I said, I'll gather more data and see what kind of strategies we can build or backtest. Well, guys, this concludes the video. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.